Hello guys, welcome to part two of our Fusion 360 tutorial on creating a model of a hairbrush. So in part one, we did 3D sketching and surfaces and creating that surface into an actual solid body. That's what we were left with. So I'll just take you back through that. So we had a 3D sketch. From that 3D sketch, we created the surface. The surface has no thickness to it. You couldn't 3D print that, for example. Um, and then from that, we were able to create a body actually had some thickness to it. So what we're going to be doing in this part is creating a sketch that we can project to a surface. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to create an offset plane. We'll offset from the bottom here and we'll go up. It doesn't really matter about how much, but we'll say 20, as long as it's above the top of our um, object here. Okay. Now we'll create a sketch on this plane, so it will be hovering above our object, and um, we will project, and we'll project by body. So that gives us this um, round ring there. So this is an exact kind of outline of what's below. Okay, now we're going to choose our offset tool, and we'll offset by 5, and then we'll offset by 10. We'll offset by 15. We'll offset by 20. And then finally, we're going to draw a center line. Which I'm just going to draw like so. And then we're going to constrain that. It's midpoint to there. OK? So now I can stretch this out to the length it wanted to be. I got finished sketch. Okay, so now we have a sketch of an outline. You may be wondering exactly what this is. All will be made clear later on, but this is going to be the path that we're going to use to arrange the um, bristles of our hairbrush. So what we're going to need to do is project these onto the surface below. Okay, so the way we do that is we are going to have to create a new sketch. So we'll create a new sketch. And it can be on pretty much any plane that we want, but um, we're going to select the bottom plane for this. Oops, we're still in our sketch, sorry. I need to finish our first sketch first. There we go, okay. All right, so now we'll create a new sketch and we'll put it on this bottom plane here. All right, so now you can see we've got two sketches visible. We've got our sketch that we just drew, which is the geometry that we wish to project. And then we have our new sketch, which at the moment is blank. So what we will do is we'll go to Create, Project, and this will be Project to Surface instead of our usual project. This is Project to Surface that we're going to choose. The faces that we're going to project to will be these faces below us, and the curves that we're going to project will be all of these above here now. It's giving us a warning here. Have certain selected curves that couldn't be projected. So I'm not sure why, but some of the curves it's saying cannot be projected. Possibly these outside ones here we don't need. We only need to project these inner ones. See if it still gives us the error. Okay, so those are ones that we wish to project, and we're going to project along a vector. Rather than projecting to the closest point. So projecting to the closest point will not always get us to the place where we want to be. If we project along a vector, it will just go straight down. Uh, 
However, projecting along a vector is giving us a problem. Um, you select the vector we're going to project on. Straight down. There we go. Okay. So now we have our projected geometry. So you can see it's gone straight down from where we were before and basically draped it over our object below. Now uh, we've got a couple of curves missing. We need to select and also the center line. Okay, so that's everything selected. We go to OK. And finish sketch. Now if we hide our previous one, you'll see that now we have drawn out, projected onto our surface the sketch that we had before. Okay, so these are going to form the paths that we're going to use later on for forming our bristles um, of the brush. Okay, but before we get into that, we're just going to um, model some more parts of the brush. Okay, so uh, we will use the um, sketch tool again, create a new one. This time we'll do it on this geometry here. Uh, again, we will project and we'll project the body, we'll project this. Okay. And then we'll offset this by about three millimeters. Okay, now we can finish the sketch and we can extrude this down. We're not going to cut, we're going to join. or actually create a new body from this, rather than joining it. And we'll come down seven millimeters. Okay, so now we've got two bodies here. Okay, so this lower body And the upper body. So these are two different parts of our brush. This lower body, now we're going to add some fillet to the edges. And I'm going to actually extrude this in one millimeter. Again on these edges here, we'll add a point two, a point one, two, yeah, point two radius there. Okay. And now We'll also add a radius on the bottom. Like so. Okay. Now we're still gonna need a, um, a handle for this brush. Okay, but this is our um, starting point of the main body of the brush. Now we're going to need to add a handle to it. And we may also want to add some um, shape to the bottom, rather like we did on the top part. So we'll create a sketch. This will be a 3D sketch. 
first thing we'll do is we'll project this. Then we'll create uh, three point arc. So just like what we did in the first tutorial. But it won't come up quite as much, just a little bit. And then we'll create our three point arc again in the other direction. There. And again, we're going to need to break these. The separate parts. And put in our cross lines so we can also break the projected piece. So now we will go to our surfaces, create a patch again, then we will mirror this, stitch those together then we mirror again our mirror plane will be here okay and then we can stitch this together also okay now we're going to do the same as we did before in part one of the tutorial. We will thicken this object. Create a new body from it. Then this body I'm going to move down one millimeter. And then we will combine these two bodies together. So now we have our two separate sections of our brush here. So we can now name these. So um, we'll call this the sponge. That's going to be the part that the brushes are inserted to. And we call this part here the body. Okay, so we still don't have a handle yet. Um, we'll cover the handle in the next part of this tutorial. Um, but what I'm going to do now, just to finish this off, is give this some um, color. So our sponge here, um, we'll work more on the actual materials later on. But for now, just to give it some look, uh, we'll choose a fabric for here, and we'll make this a gray fabric. And then plastic for the 
brush body. We'll make it a red plastic. Now we'll do some work on the actual materials later on, um, changing the colors and, and so on. Um, but for now, that's as far as we're going to go in this part of the tutorial. Change our display settings. I'll just show you what it looks like if it's um, just shaded only. So there we go. So obviously we have a little bit of issue with these joints here and the textures. But as I say, we'll cover texturing later on. But that is our um, basic shape. In the next part of the tutorial, we will be looking at adding a modeling on the handle. And then finally, um, we'll be going back to our projected geometry here to create the actual brushes, um, the combs of the, of the hairbrush. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next part of our tutorials.